brothers and sisters, generals, family, current subscribers, new subscribers. Welcome to another Nature Podcast and or EBX discussion. And those that view, if I didn't say that already, I thank you and salute. And, you know, I just, I remember one time, brothers and sisters, and this was before this, let's see, you know, I'm a talking code. And this is before that thing that we got that, you know, that made everybody have to walk, be in six feet of each other, had to stay in the house to just read between the lines. You know what I'm talking about. Everybody had to wear a mask. And I spoke on this before. And I remember, I think the day before this, you know, this thing that we had going around, speaking in code, you know, where everybody could get sick and some did get sick, unfortunately, and some transition you know unfortunately from this thing we had but anyway bringing all that up because i remember brothers and sisters and you know I always honor thy ancestors you know I always do that those who fought hard brother or sister man they gave everything they had with every fiber of their body to get a lot of us in that divine space that we're in that's brothers and sisters in the world online and our families all over they fought hard for anything that we're doing righteous right now but let's go back i remember my ancestors spoke to one one time and I, I mentioned this in a podcast before but i wanted to bring it back up i remember thy ancestors said don't fret and i don't know where why i heard that voice or where it came from well all i well i do know where it came from from the depths of one subconscious because what we harbor and think about the most that what that's what comes up either in a thought and then we express it when we speak but i was driving in a car and i remember this thing was the day of or the day before or the day after, um, uh, to be honest. Cause like I said, oh no, it was the day of or the day after, excuse me. And I remember hearing this voice saying, don't fret. And for some divine reason, I, I, I didn't fear at that moment. I didn't fret. And I carried that don't fret spirit all throughout this thing that we had that went out through different cities. And like I said, talking in cold, that we had to wear a mask for. And I... I didn't carry any fear through the whole thing. And it's almost like, and it's not just me. I'm sure a lot of us that are connected to that divine experience this. It's almost like that great divine. Because when you truly are connected to that God spirit, deep, I'm talking about the real God spirit, that divine spirit, it will show you things. It will put you almost on the outside of things and freeze frame the world. And you will see others that are not, connected you know unfortunately sometimes it could be your loved ones and that, that divine will just show you you know it will just let you see if we take the time to see outside of this little superficial life that has been put before us and as we get up in levels as a lot of us know brothers and sisters family young or old we will see life for what it really is you know not what we have been taught not what we have been conditioned to believe or see. I learned about that word belief. And we'll get to the depth of depths of that soul as we get up in levels or age as brother or sister. If we really study and go deep and go beyond the academics, because the academics couldn't hold a candle to what that great divine has for us. Mother Nature, you know, has way more out there in that universe than academics could ever have, you know. Academics only reach the brain, but that great divine hits the soul, the brain, the body. And if you study the spine, it's good to keep um, um, ha uh, positive energy helps with our spine. Our spine is very, very important because those who study and research and read, we know about things like that. You know how important it is to keep our spine healthy, because if our spine break down, we won't even be able to walk. We won't even be able to keep balance, you know. And a lot of things goes into keeping our spine healthy. And remember, this is things I've learned, too. There's not nothing I'd like come up on my own. I researched and looked it up oneself, you know, because when you're seeking knowledge in a righteous way and that curiosity, it will lead us to so many great things that can help us with our body, brother or sister, young or old. Anybody can have that that divine power deep within It's it's special, but it's not special, if you know what I mean. Anybody can have it, just got to take that time, you know. Stay away from things that keep us from learning and keeping our mind expanding. But back to the spine. So that's why I cling to positive energy, which I always have. But now I'm like, as many of many of us, you know, I'm up in levels now, more aware 
of what positive energy really means. And it's not always soft either. We learn that too on this walk. But it's very important how healthy we keep our spinal, our spinal cord. And the reason why, because it leads to the stem of our brain. And that's where the pot, the process of our thinking, our laughter, our anger, our being mad, sad. You know, we deal with those emotions that come through our psyche, which I will talk about. And um, it's, I will lead up to the title. I will talk about dreams. But everything plays a part in having a stable, rock solid mindset. Man, it's beautiful because we hear this a, a lot all the time. But we are living it, brothers and sisters. We will see how important it is to keep a good mindset because a whole bunch of things will follow when we have righteous things in our mind and then our body will follow It's wonderful but it's a process for some of us you know we have to go through that process as we all talk about but i want to talk about water dreams and um water dreams i've talked about it before and when the, the divine speaks to us through our dreams so listen, or when the divine speaks to us through our dreams, listen. So, and I want to talk a little bit about water dreams. And I put it in the end screen. I talked about how I dream about water all the time. And I'm going to break down why some of us dream about water. Because it's, it's a deep thing. It's a reason why we dream about water. Because it's a, it's a connection to that divine. Because when we think of water, when we think of oceans, and I'm talking about I've had dreams, all dreams I've had about water, it's always about massive amounts of water. And in the dream, I, I will become fearful when I see that water. And I'll explain that as I go on in this here while I'm speaking. And, um, and I want to speak on why a lot of us dream about water. And it connects to our life and our thinking, our subconscious, our psyche. It's a reason why we dream about water. And, um, and I will be fearful in these dreams when you can i'm telling you when you connect it you don't have no toxic shit in there and you're working on bettering oneself and becoming a better individual brother or sister young or old we practice on this we are see we will see ourselves stepping into it and sometimes we we be in be, we be so so engulfed in trying to be a right brother and sister we don't even see the changes the change others will see it and that's the best way to see that change in ourselves when others can see it when we do things, when we're not even, when it's like, I always say, second nature. When we're not looking to get anything. We just, we're just led by that great divine spirit. It's the most wonderful, fulfilling, beautiful thing one could ever do in one's life. When we're led by that great divine spirit. Remember, it's not all about being this perfect individual. But we're striving to do that. And maybe we will be that perfect individual. It's not impossible. But we have to do all the measures and go through all the tests and all the levels to get there. But I want to talk about water dreams and um, I'm not really into the I'm going to say signs, but I'm not really into the signs. I'm just kind of using it as an example. So and if you have dreams about water, like massive amounts of water, like I used to. And I'm going to go back to how I used to be fearful of massive amounts of water. I studied that because when we have certain battles in our lives, the. Sometimes a solution can come on a dream. And I looked up why I was fearful of of uh, water in my dreams is because it was challenges in my life that I were dealing with or, you know, I could see. But it was in my subconscious, you know, those things that that come up in our dream, that that deep, deep stuff that really be in there that comes up in our dreams, that kind of stuff. So I looked it up and studied it. And, and again, I've said this to people, look up your dreams, pinpoint them, see what they mean, because. When we do that, we can almost see the future. Almost. You know, we can anticipate it. It's, I'm telling you, it's it's, it's kind of weird. It's kind of, but, you know, that great divine, nothing is impossible. Okay? We just have to take the steps. Mother Nature, that great divine, will do the rest. So, a lot of us have experienced it. They have tapped in to that deep inner core. Okay. Water dreams. Now, I had fears. And I looked it up, studied it, and it said that it had challenges that I wanted to face, that I needed to face, that was kind of challenging for me to go through, you know. So that's what that fearful part was about. So once I studied it, studied it and understood it, then I became less fear. Remember I said I had that voice come to me from our ancestors that said, don't fret. So I'm telling you, it's wonderful when we connect the dots. It's wonderful. 
So I kept studying dreams. And so when I have them, I haven't studied them in a while because I really haven't had any really dramatic dreams, you know, but I, I did was having them a lot of them about water. And but the good side about having dream, anybody who has dreams about water, it means we're a deep thinker. Because remember, we're talking about math. If you have dreams about massive amounts of water, oceans, you know, lakes, stuff like that, you know, because remember, oceans are deep. Remember, so those who are connected to that water, we are deep thinkers. We are deep in debt. It's, it's still things in us. We might, a lot of us that have become in tune with oneself, we have manifested many great things. But well, if we still having dreams about water, it means there's many great, there's more great things that we haven't, you know, uncovered that's still in us. I'm talking about righteously, that's still buried. If you still having dreams about water, that means there's still great things in us that we haven't manifested yet. So, at least that's what I get. You know, everyone's different. You have to, because like I said, everybody's an individual, brother or sister, you know. So you have to look it up and see what having genes about water means to you. But again, like I say, when that great divine speaks to us, to us, through our dreams, listen. I'm telling you, listen. Don't miss it. Look it up. Pinpoint it. If, if you wake up and you're like, what the heck was that? Look it up. See what it means. That great divine speaks to us in many, many ways. But we have to be in tune. To know that. So I want to read a little summary now. As I always say, thank those that's been riding along. You know, I gotta say it. We are leaders and teachers. We are not followers, brothers and sisters, family. And um, those who view, I thank you and I appreciate you. Salute for those who's man doing everything we can to live a righteous life. And I want to read a little summary of water signs, and it has some some signs in there but like, like i say i don't get too deep into the signs, so this is kind of an example so this will be another meditative moment all right water signs just give a little clear just to give a little clarity on why we have dreams about massive amounts of water okay water dreams all right the water signs and it has on here cancer scorpio and pisces tend to be emotional and intuitive in the chinese tradition Water is called, let me see, it's W-U-X-I-N-G. If I could say it right, it said Wuxing, I guess that's how you pronounce it. In the Chinese tradition, water is called Wuxing. It's the most yin of the five elements, the most feminine, the most passive, the most re receptive, the most hidden. That's why I said it. it's things that if, we, if we're still, if we have them all the time, that means that great divine is trying to get us to dig up something. That's in us deep. That's that can be that can be an impact, you know, either to the world, humanity, you know, to life in general. It's still something deep hidden. We're, we're very deep people. And this is anybody. That's not just some science. That's just a, uh, uh, an example, more or less. But I think anyone can have a deep, deep dream, a deep divine dream about water. But that's just a little take on what it means to dream about water and um like i said i put in the end screen of a podcast i did about how you know like i said the divine speaks to us through dreams and uh another thing i remember studying about uh having dreams about water another definition it had that i looked up it's in the podcast and i talked about it in there that one has concern it means that i have concerns when i you know because we're emotional we and we're empathic also. Those who, who have dreams about, you know, like I said, a massive amounts of water, we are also we also are empathic. We are concerned for our families, brothers and sisters in our circle. You know, we just have concern, but it doesn't mean we're soft. But the the like the deep part of us that subconscious, we are like passionate, empathic, man, and just ambitious. That's those who dream about water, that's what's in us, you know. But it depends on who we are as an individual, how we manifest it, you know, because everybody life is different situations. We're in different states, different countries, um, you know, so different areas. You know, it depends on who we are with that walk, with that great divine, because men are, remember, it's not it's not my divine. It's our great divine because it watches over the whole entire universe, whether like I said, whether it's continent, country, city state wherever we are it all depends on the mindset because because you know to me you know well not to me it, it, 
I would say it's a scientific fact. That great divine has the span to reach over the whole universe. So of course it can reach every or area of the world. I mean, a lot of us have seen like the map of the universe, what the universe look like. Do we know, do you see how small the earth is? The earth is very, very small. We, we are smaller, you know, we, it looks big to us, but to the great divine, as I said in the past, it's like a little speck. So that's why we should, man, I mean, the divine could just step on us like a bug. Are you kidding me? So that's why we should respect that divine force and listen when it comes to a dream and speaks to us because, and, and another reason why that great divine comes to our dreams, and this could be a water uh, sign, it could be any kind of dream, but we'll know when we wake up, you know, if it was a sign from that divine, because it'll be traumatic, and we'll wake up like, oh, what the heck was that? That's when we study, that's when we take that moment and see what it meant. Don't just brush over things in our lives. I'm telling you, we can tap into stuff that's in our subconscious. Man, that's just, I, I don't want to say magical, but it's just, man, amazing, the things that we can dig up that we harbor over the years and decades and be the most powerful brother and sister we can possibly be is it man is noticing something as simple as a dream because it can manifest into something powerful and again like i say we connect ourselves to those divine dreams look them up and redefine them we can almost see the future i'm telling you and i'm, I'm sure a lot of us have experienced this we kept ourselves some toxic situations i'm telling you, if we listen to that divine spirit telling you it'll keep us out of trouble now we'll still come into challenges sometimes and hurdles of course but as a lot of us have done on this walk when we study thyself and make ourselves a project and we have done it over time guess what brothers and sisters there'll be less drama less mistake and i'll always say little stress and no stress at all and i'll say time and time again notice i never say that word stress because I don't even, we don't even want that in our vocabulary because we're always working and striving to be a greater brother or sister. And that's brother, sister, our families. That's what this whole life is about. You know, we, we step into the right and the deep, righteous, spiritual will come automatically because that's all that great divine mother nature wants. What does that positive energy want? I mean, that the positive force wants positive energy because that's what makes this whole divine move that's what keep things moving positive energy negative energy doesn't keep things moving negative energy gives what friction resistance uh what a lot of wrong things comes with negative negative energy a weight holding us down so let's stay as positive as, as man keep as much positive energy as we possibly can even through the storm you know again when we have practiced this this will become nothing it will become what second second nature second third fourth fifth nature so and that's just some things i wanted to talk about water signs it was in my spirit that's why i got this on my banner and and i tell you like i say every podcast will have something to do with nature looking over over out over the world you know that's how we got to keep our mind elevated you know we're more than just sitting in some space looking at some damn computer you know it's good to speak you know that's why we should have positive energy when we do do these you know podcasts and speaking don't take them for granted because it's a way of expressing and cleansing and guess what we get to help someone else you know speaking can be a very helpful empowering thing when we have right intent deep within so that's why we pay attention to those water dreams you know water signs a little little um summary i just read you know i don't i had like i said i haven't had them in a while and um that's that's the reason why we dream about waters brothers and sisters those that do because we are deep thinkers and we are deeply concerned about the way of the world we are compassionate but it doesn't mean we're soft it's just that we have that divine passion and concern deep in our subconscious and when we're going through a challenge a lot of times we will have uh dreams about water you know because water is deep deep you know we heard that saying deeper than the ocean you know what i'm saying so a lot of deep thinkers that we are we are deeper than the ocean and a lot of things that you see a lot of self-aware brothers and sisters that have manifested out there out here we just scratching the surface we just getting started because remember we, we we so a lot of us are connected to the depths of water so there is more yet to come so stay with it brothers and sisters if you have dreams about water 
That's a good thing. That means great things are coming down the road, and not just for ourselves, for our children, our family, significant others. So I wanted, I wanted to read this summary one more time because I thought it was interesting, you know. Again, study our dreams, you know. Look them up. You'd be surprised. And I'm telling you, if you really want to step into a whole different world, study your dreams, pinpoint them, Google them. You'd be surprised. I'm telling you. That's why I say we got to step on the outside of this superficial shit out here that can take away, take us away from exploring that wonderful side of our mind, body, and soul. And then we can share it to others. You know, our children, like I said, significant other, family, brothers and sisters in the world, or on line. I want to read this summary one more time. Okay. The water signs. Remember, I don't really get too deep into signs, but it's just an example. Okay. The water signs. Cancer. I'm a cancer, by the way. And uh, let me see. The water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces tend to be emotional and intuitive. In Chinese tradition, water is called wuxing. It's the most yin of the five elements. I gotta look up that word yin. I think I know what it means, but I, I hear that word, but I've never actually broke it down to look it up. So that might be another podcast, yin. I wanna look that up. I don't know exactly. I kind of know what it means, but not exactly. All right. It's the most yin of the five elements, the most feminine. And we do need feminine energy because it evens us out. It's not about being soft or nothing like that. Most of us real men, br uh, brothers out here, we know about the feminine energy. We don't, you know, when you in tune with oneself, stuff like that, you don't, you don't think about shit like that. We, we know what it is because we research red, you know, so. The most feminine energy, like I said, it evens us out. We need that feminine energy because nothing is more beautiful than being in the company of a beautiful sister. I'm telling you, one that's true to the pit of the soul. So that's that feminine energy we need. And, um, okay, the most passive, the most receptive, and most hidden. Not passive in a soft way, though. Just picking our battles, you know. That's those that dream about water and have that connection deep to the depths of the, the bottom of the ocean. Oh, yeah, we, we know how to regulate that being passive. So and it says receptive and the most hidden. That's why I said those who are deep thinkers and have dreams about water and listen when that great divine comes through our dreams. We, man, we have so many great things. We just getting started, brothers and sisters, those who are self-aware. We have yet to begin to manifest great things that's in the depths of our so, so those are some of the things I want to talk about. You know, that's why a lot of us have dreams about water, because either we're going to face a challenge or in a challenge or it just we're just thinking about something that's in the depths of our subconscious that hasn't come up yet. So, like I say, if you like you wake up in a cold sweater or you're still thinking about a dream later on in the day, look it up. It's a reason. You know, a great. Like I said, great divine mother nature speaks to us in many ways many ways and especially these days if you're connected if you're really listening to that divine spirit you will hear it so that was just some of the things i want to talk about uh water and having dreams and water dreams and so and i'll put like i said the, the podcast i talked about dreaming about water i put it in the end screen i think it's interesting because it's a part of this walk too everything that's a righteous weapon it's a part of the walk from the mind, body, and soul, whatever it is, you know, physically, mentally. And we always say that old spiritual, when we can keep those things on point in our psyche, man, we can thrive and nothing can stop us and continue being the generals that we always have been and always will be. And that's brothers and sisters in the world or online and my family. And thank those for coming in to another edition, another edition of EBX discussion and or nature podcast and i wanted to say um create an unshakable peace for yourself make your get create i mean make you make a, a peaceful not hurting nobody nothing like that but whatever it takes it man create an unshakable peace for oneself and i say that because when i do these podcasts it's like a i really go deep into depth like right before i speak like some days, sometimes even days before I think I'm going to do a podcast, I'm thinking, my mind's thinking and seeing, you know, almost, I'm not writing a script, but in my mind, I'm like thinking of what I want to say. It's beautiful when we can do that, when we don't need a script, when we can just come naturally out of our spirit, out of our subconscious. Because when we have understanding, we can do that. 
Because I say, when we're actually being real and not just saying we're real, it's the most wonderful, fulfilling thing in our lives. It's beautiful. So we continue teaching and we continue raising others that are in our circle, current subscribers, new subscribers, anybody that view. You know, that's what it's about. Because what we do righteous in the present, but always and forever benefit us in the future. And when that great divine speaks to us through our dreams, please, brothers and sisters, you never know. We never know what's coming ahead. But that great divine always knows. So salute to those who are having dreams about water. That means you have a deep connection with that great divine and mother nature. So keep saluting on, brothers and sisters, those who are standing tall and in truth out there. And that great divine comes through a dream. Listen and continue, man, being an unapologetic general that we always have been and that we always will be. Stay strong, family, brothers, sisters, in the world or online. Salute.